Hello, this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. For today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to knit this lovely socks. It is a custom order that I'm knitting for a special customer who wanted my Erin honeycomb and my diamond cable uh, knit stitch. So it is particularly custom for his feet. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to knit it. it. I already have two tutorials on how this is top up, toe up. So I already have two tutorials how to knit. So I'm not going to show you, but I will uh, go over it with you how to knit the toe and the heel. It's the same method. So what I did is... Before I go over that, I want to show you I'm knitting with my hand spun yarn that I have spun. It's Angora Rabbit yarn. I have spun it with fi uh, Angora fibers. And uh, this is my tag. Uh, I think I have a, on my Etsy shop. I have to remove it because I don't have many left. I'll just wait it for it to expire. If you want to go and buy it, go and buy it. It's on my Etsy shop, and this is the link, ufair.etsy.com. So I have unlimited <coughs> yarn left. Okay, uh, so uh, I'm using two strands of yarn. Oh, I see my dog's hair. She passed away two years ago. Can you believe it? Oh my goodness. My my little girl's hair. So what I done is I cast on total of 20 stitches and I am doing my decrease. And I'm just knitting back and forth. Just like this. I will come to the side and show you how it's done. So we do the decrease until we have 10 stitches. Okay, so I am on the right side. Let me just move this. So you guys saw the sock. <laughs> it's pretty good. Nice and soft. Okay, so I don't knit the first stitch. And what I do is, oops, slip. And I knit these two together so I get rid of one stitch see and then it's slanting towards this and I knit all the way until I get to the three stitches oops 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 my yarn is breaking what happened here I think I pulled it too much yeah I have to be What I do is, because uh, it's fiber, right? Wool. I twist it just a little bit. When you're working with wool. And then hold it gentle. Don't pull it hard. That is a little bit of thin. Yeah, let me go and fix that. Okay, so I fixed that part. I didn't feel comfortable. <laughs> so uh, what I'm going to do is at the last three stitches, I knit these two stitches together. And this will sl slant towards the, the right side. And then knit the last stitch. And this is how it looks like two, four, six, eight, ten. So I'm gonna get rid of one, uh, one more stitch, one more row, and then I will come to show you how to do the pickup stitches. And then we're gonna be folding it and pulling it down. It's so easy. 
that's how I do my socks nothing complicated okay so I have a total of 10 stitches now I'm going to be picking up stitches and we only do this uh, decrease and increase on the right side so when I'm picking up stitches what I do is I pick it up from here oops need to focus in the middle so I pick it up with see you see this is where we do the got rid of the one stitch so what I do is I pull this and I pick up stitches that's what we do you can either pick it up like this or I like to use my crochet hook what I do is I grab it from here it's easier and then I start knitting <laughs> just show it to you Start knitting, but I, I need to put these on the needle because uh, this doesn't have room. This way, I don't have holes. Can you see? There's no holes, no holes at all on the sock either. Got stuck on the pie pot, and I just continue knitting. To the other end just like this and here is my stitch and I pull this oops and the wrong side I just continue knitting okay so I'll show you one more row it's where I did my uh, decrease so that's where I pick it up I'm sorry I keep on going up this stitch that we pick up and then I just try to make that tight as you can because we don't want it loose and then that's how we do our increase all the way to the end so I will let you uh, knit and I will meet you when we start doing our uh, honeycomb and the diamond stitch okay the next stitch is where I did my decrease so you skip one and then you pick up the uh, well you will see it okay so one two, so there's uh we need to do three more and we'll I'm gonna be done and then you will notice that it's uh going down the toe okay so I just wanted to show you I finished it and I'm gonna pick up stitches here and while I do that I will pick up stitches here so I don't want to show any gap any holes that's how I do it and if you want to see <laughs> for new beginners I know they are uh, always wanted wanting to see See, there's a little bit of gap there. And then I tried to pick up that last stitch. Can you see? I don't want any gap. So let me try to figure out. Let me see if I can pick up a stitch so you won't see any holes. Let's see if this is going to work. See, there's still a gap. You don't want any gap. What I did is I poked it instead of picking up where the increase, uh, where I did the decrease, because then it's there's a huge gap. 
Okay. See? That's really hard to see. So, I am going to pick up stitches as I go. So, one. Oops. So, I picked up one there. So, what I'm doing is I'm just poking my crochet hook. There's another one. Two. And uh, I will continue picking up these stitches. So three. There should be a total of 20. Okay, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I put markers. There's 20 stitches here and 20 stitches here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start... Um, the diamond the diamond cable stitch here in the middle okay but I want to do the honeycomb first because I'm counting <coughs> so I will start the honeycomb here and meanwhile, I am going to do a couple of stitches to do the increase due to his feet size. Okay, so I am going to start. Um, I might need to do a separate tutorial on how to knit the honeycomb stitch and how to knit the diamond stitch separately. But I do have already a tutorial on how to knit a sweater. So if you go into my videos and type in Aaron Sweater, that will, I, I think I have two tutorials already. A couple of tutorials, actually. So that's why I didn't want to bother, bother making a video. But if you want me to, I am happy to. <clears throat> so I'm going to start SF. So here is the middle. So two stitches are going to be the cable that I am going to be twisted like going across so I need five two four five stitches <clears throat> and the rest I'm just gonna knit knit wise okay so these knit wise when I come back I'm going to make them uh, <clears throat> sorry I have a very bad throat so again two Two, four, five. Okay. So these stitches, these five stitches are going to be knit purl. One, two, three, four. Five. It's this part that I'm knitting. See? So I am creating. <clears throat> and uh, I am going to be using uh, this. I really like this. <laughs> it helps me a lot. So I'm going to hold these stitches. Just like this. And I slide it so I don't lose a stitch. And I knit these two. And what I do is, either you can put these stitches back on the needle or you can knit it from that stitch. Or you can use a crochet hook, either way would work, either one would work. Okay. So I did my twist, my, my cable. So I'm going to knit again five stitches. One, two, three, three. Four, five. OK. 
Okay, so I am going to, <clears throat> I'm sorry. So now I need to figure out how to do the honeycomb. So each honeycomb, we need total of eight stitches. So four, four. So we need, sorry. Sorry about that, lost my voice. So I, I need a total of eight stitches. So four, four, four here and four here to create one honeycomb. So I'm just going to count. I have three. I have four stitches there. I have 10, 20 here. And I have three here. <clears throat> So 28, so I'm going to do one increase, and I will do that. Yeah, I don't follow the rules when I'm knitting. I'll show you a trick. So I have three here. I'm going to do an increase. Okay, to do that, what I will do is, okay, these two stitches going to hold okay and while I'm knitting one I'm gonna do an increase Ta-da! <laughs> so I have two stitches <laughs> that's my increase Ta -da -da -da. okay and I slide those two stitches so this row is going to be a little bit tight Okay, so I don't need this anymore. That was my divider. So I'm going to repeat this. See what we did? Sorry, my voice is gone again. <clears throat> I was on live, live stream today. <laughs> Already talked one and a half hours. So remember how I did it. So we're going to do the, <clears throat> I'm so sorry. So we're going to do the opposite. Just going to hold these two stitches just like this on the back. So we're going to knit these two just like this and then move back these. Okay. And then Knit those two stitches that we put back. <clears throat> and I'm going to repeat what I did here. So the two stitches are going to be on the front. The two stitches. I am so sorry. <clears throat> lots of liquid but uh, yeah so I knit one so I'm gonna knit another one and then this is on the front so I'm gonna put this back on the needle and I know it's really hard to see, but this is what we are creating. It gives you that nice 3D look. Okay, so I'm going to continue repeating this all the way to the end. Till I finish my uh, stitches, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I finished the honeycomb. I know it, you can't see it. You can't see anything. <laughs> it's really tough, but um, the more you knit, more rows... It will become so I am back where we started so I'm going to be knitting what I see so uh, these uh, five stitches are going to be purl stitches just like this okay 
and then I don't need this marker I'm just going to remove it because I'm done with it if you want to put marker you are welcome to but uh, I don't need markers okay so these are the four stitches that we did the cable so I'm just going to knit them just this row is just going to be knit nothing to be done okay so these five stitches I'm going to be purling them just like this I'm not oh it's so hard because uh, the first row we did the honeycombs right it gets tough to move this the needle but uh the more we knit the more you will uh it will become better relax a bit so i'm just knitting these purl stitches the one that five stitches okay so i'm at the honeycomb i know it's really hard to see but this row is just going to be knit actually we're going to knit three rows we're not going to do any uh anything different we're just going to knit these stitches all the way okay this is all we do so i will come back and show you the diamond uh, cable diamond cable and I'll be right back okay so after knitting one row when we're doing the diamond that's uh, we knit one row just the knit stitch and then on the uh, second row like the second time we move these stitches around which that's what we're going to do so I'm going to move one stitch here and uh, right here, I already made an increase. So I am going to make increases randomly. And I will make my next increase right here. Well, actually, uh, yeah, right here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this to the back. And then I'm going to knit these two stitches. These two. And this one stitch, I am going to purl it. Yarn from the front. And then knit the other two okay so I'm going to continue knitting one two three four five okay and then I'll show you to show you how to how I do my increase So, I hold it like this and grab a stitch. So, that's my increase. And this row is just going to be knit for the honeycomb stitch. Okay, and this is all I do. So, I will come back and I will show you what to do at the diamond cable stitch I'll be right back so I'm going to be knitting just knitting nothing else different uh, the rest of the until I come to the diamond cable stitch okay so I'm back uh, where is uh, where the uh, diamond cable is so I'm, this row I'm just going to knit but when I come to the purl stitch I'm going to do the opposite I'm going to do a knit stitch so it gives that nice uh where's my socks Whoa. My goodness, I can't find it. Here it is. <laughs> oh, so it gives you that nice texture. Can you see? And uh, because of his foot size and the measurements uh, that Susan gave me, his, uh, Cliff's wife, uh, I had to start with the smaller and then it, the diamond got bigger.
Okay. So that's what I do. I just do the opposite. And then I just knit the two uh, cables, just the regular. So this row is just going to be knit. And uh, I will come back to show you. So we're going to be knitting. The third row for the diamond is going to be knitting. And then you will see, see, the diamonds are becoming as we knit more and more. You will see how it looks like. So on this row, we're going to be knitting again. So I will come back to show you how to make a move around the two more stitches to the middle of the diamond. Okay, so I'm right here. And then I'm going to be moving two stitches, one from the left and one from the right. Okay, so again, I move it to my stitch holder and I leave it at the back. And I continue knitting the two stitches. But try to knit these tight because we don't want any gap between. Okay. So... This uh, knit stitch is going to be a purl, okay? So, I, if it's a purl, then I have to knit this uh, stitch. That's what I need to do. Don't forget that. So, I knit the stitch. And then... I purl this stitch okay now we're gonna hold these two stitches from the front and then grab one stitch from here so if this was a purl stitch we're gonna knit this stitch okay and these two stitches I'm just gonna knit them regularly just a regular knit stitch. Sometimes it's hard to knit it from here, but let me try it. Didn't want to move it back to the needle. Okay, knit one. And then knit the other one. Oops, sorry. Went up. Yeah, I'm just checking if I did any twisting. So I'm going to purl these. Okay. So one, two, three, four. Okay. Now we're going to do the opposite what we did. Okay. So remember, we slanted, slanted this way. So we're going to slant it this way. To do that, what we're going to do is. We're going to do the opposite what we did on that row. So grab these two stitches and leave them on the back and knit these two, for, two stitches so it is slanting towards the right. Can you see? Okay, and then grab those two stitches. So we're just doing the regular honeycomb, but because this is knit in a round, we do three rows of uh, knit stitch between. And then I continue knitting these two stitches. I know this is going to, I'm sorry, I keep on going up because I'm bending down to do the tutorial. And believe me, it's not easy to make tutorials. See? So this is slanting towards that. Uh, let me just show you. See? So we're creating this look from here to there okay and I'm going to do the opposite on this one okay so let me just move this and this is all I do just knitting the regular just the regular cape uh, honeycomb stitch Oh, see, I did something wrong here. Can you see? The two. I did something wrong. Let me figure that out. I'll be right back. Okay, so I fixed it. And you will see the honeycomb. See, it's becoming. Yeah. 
because I'm going to use a crochet hook this time. So I'm going to hold these two stitches from the front and then just knit this. And this is all I do. Nothing different. Nothing easy. Um, nothing hard. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Lost the stitch. Great. Picked it up. So put these stitches back. And this is all we do. It's just a regular honeycomb. And then if you want. Um, so easy. I know sometimes it's frustrating when you're moving the stitches. Especially if you're knitting a socks. Which I have never did. This is only for a custom order. But I just love, love how it turned out. Look. This is the bottom of the sock. And this is the top of the sock. And you put it on. I think it's turning out pretty good. It's pretty thick. That's what he wanted. But it's soft because of the Angora Rabbit. As soon as he mentioned me these uh, honeycomb and uh, cable, I thought... Angora Rabbit. That's the warmest fiber you can find compared to others. I don't have rabbits. I do get a lot of comment about it. I buy the fiber out of my pocket. No one donates them. No one gives sense to me them. Okay, so this is all you do. You just continue knitting. That's all. This row. Yeah, I'm going to end this tutorial because it's taking too long and I don't want you to get bored. So this is all you do. And I did already show you tips how to uh, make the toe up. And then I went and I increased up till I had total of how many? I, I did write that down. 47 stitches. No, here. Here I had a total of 47 stitches because uh, his ankle was bigger, right? So I had to increase my stitches while I was going up. So I increased between and I increased when I was doing the heel. Here's I did increases. So I started with 20 and I ended up with 47 stitches just to point out. So this is all you do. And then you just, you know, increase your uh, pearl stitches here while you're doing your increase and this is all to it so i hope you like this short tutorial on how to knit aaron honeycomb socks if you haven't subscribed to my channel 